Hello folks, it's Dave with Euro Motorcycles and today we're going to be installing the behind the seat rear fender uh, luggage rack, whatever you want to call it. It's got a couple different names. It preceded the new rear fender rack. The difference being the rear fender rack does require the use of the two thirds or solo seat in addition to the rack, but this rack will actually fit with the two thirds seat or you can use it on the bench seat that is equipped on most bikes. This rack has the same carrying capacity as the rear fender rack. We actually recommend that you don't load this with more than 10 kilograms or 22 pounds. And it's not so much the rack can't hold it, but the mounting points um, are using eight millimeter hardware and you don't wanna tax those those points where this is uh, bolted to the bike. So in addition to the uh, spare tire luggage rack that was introduced on the Geo, the sidecar fender rack, which I introduced a couple weeks ago, and the rear fender rack, which gives you a whole matching set with the uh, sidecar nose rack, which has been out for quite a while. This gives you yet another option. So as I mentioned, this rack does work with both seats and it does work with the passenger grab handles. Uh, it does work with the rear, fen uh, rear tail light guard. If you uh, decide or already have that equipped, it does work with the GPR exhaust as well as the new stock exhaust where the hanger brackets are mounted to one of the mounting points for this. So I'll go over that. Uh, hardware is included. And even if you have the old style pontoon uh, exhaust on an older bike and you wanna put this on, we got you covered for the spacers and the hardware that are included with the rack. Now, as with everything else, we uh, try and offer you multiple ways of ordering this. You can either A, go into your dealership and say hi, and say, I wanna order this rack. You can B, go to imzural.com click the shop tab at the top of the page. It'll take you to our online store. You can buy it direct from us, or you can go to our website, cl uh, click the dealer locator button, uh, and you can select any dealer in that list, call them up and say, hey, I'd like to order this rack. This is particularly beneficial. Uh, say the rack is out of stock online. You can call a dealer, they will place it on order for you and it will go on a back order. Not an option in our online store. So. Uh, the dealer can also have it directly shipped from us to your door when it comes in stock. Um, if you simply ask the dealer, hey, I'd like to have this direct shipped, and they'll do that for you for a small additional fee. So without further ado, we're going to um, take the great bike and roll it inside, and we're going to install this rear rack. Uh, this bike is equipped with passenger grab handles, the new style stock exhaust, um, and the bench seat. So if you want to join along, we're going to cover some tips and tricks for installing it uh, so you can do this at home yourself. So to demonstrate where this rack is supposed to mount, you have the front two holes which are going to go to these upper shock bolts that also hold on the passenger grab handle, the front part of it. And then the back hole is going to go to this rear fender mounting point that also holds the fender clip and the, the, the fender together. Now, if you try and snake this into position, you'll notice that the turn signal stem actually gets in the way before you can get it past. And if you try and lower it down over the seat, you run the risk of marring or tearing the vinyl. You can either remove the seat, but if you only re uh, loosen these bolts here and pull the passenger grab handles back, you're gonna have those in the way. So I'm gonna show you how I do it uh, to clear the turn signal stem. And then as I mentioned, hardware, you get, um, you get longer bolts and washers and nuts for these locations here and here on the back which will go make up the extra length needed to clear the fender clip and it does come with spacers now if you have one of the newer bikes with the new two uh two into one high pipe the kit comes with two of these long spacers 
in one of these short spacers. So if you have the newer exhaust or a GPR exhaust, you're going to use the short spacer on the right hand side and a long spacer on the left hand side and that'll equalize your distance with the thickness of the bracket. Now if you have an old bike that's got the uh, two and a two pipes, uh, pontoon style as a lot of people call them, uh, the two equal length spacers in the kit will be used on the left and the right and that'll help center the rack. And regardless of how unnecessary it seems, um, because I am representing your own motorcycles, I do have to recommend that you disconnect your battery before you begin working. So to begin the actual work, uh, we're going to remove the two upper shock mount uh, bolts on the left and the right, uh, five millimeter uh, hex key Allen wrench. Then you can simply pull the passenger grab handle back and out of the way if um, your bike is so equipped. millimeter wrench, five millimeter hex key or socket, and you're going to remove these uh, bolts that hold the fender, fender to the fender clip on both the left and right side. So as mentioned before, if you have a newer bike, whether it's the GPR or the new factory 2-in-1 high pipe, that same location also holds the uh, muffler hanger. Now if you remove this, the muffler will stay in place because it's also mounted up there, but you're going to want to get that bolt out of the way. If you have an older bike, it'll just be a bolt like on the left side um, that just goes through the fender clip and the fender. Now, as you can see, we're almost in a position to where we can slide it forward and get it up onto the shock, uh, upper shock mounting position and get it lined up. But we're still having interference issues with the turn signal stem. Now on the newer bikes, the stem is gone and this tab is gone and they've got a little bracket coming off of the light housing, but the position is nearly the same and it does uh, prove to be the same obstacle so instead of removing the seat, which takes time, or removing um, the passenger grab handles, which would require you to remove yet another set of nuts and bolts that hold the fender and run the risk of getting everything misaligned. It's not impossible to line back up and put back together, but it is a hassle and it's time consuming. All right, so you got a jam nut on the stem, and then you got the locking nut behind. So just hold everything securely and you can break that nut loose pretty quick. Let that just fall back on the harness and then you can hang this out of the way. Maybe pull out a little bit more slack for yourself. And if you're worried about scratching anything, just wrap it in a shop towel beforehand. Now you'll be in a position to See how this is all going to fit together. You can get the front mounting tab under the passenger grab handle. Get it up into position up on the front um, top upper shock mount. And then you can just guide the turn signal around to the back. If you're in Canada, you'll have to do the other side as well, but just Lay them out of the way and get them back behind the rack itself. 
then you can get these front portion uh, points positioned. Now with the available hardware in the kit, you get a slightly longer uh, bolt for the top position here. And then you're gonna wanna put a lock washer on because there's no uh, lock nut to put on the back. And then um, there's a flat washer. It'll rest against this. And then of course you got your larger washer that goes between these two. So you're gonna to wanna to get these started loose and do that on the left and the right side. Put your washer in place, lower your passenger grab handle. Get everything aligned. And get the hardware started, but still keep it loose so you can have some movement to get everything lined up. So for the right side, we have the, the longer bolt with a flat washer. Um, this washer will be against the nut on the inside of the fender, and then you have your spacer in between. Get our spacer in there. This is the short spacer because we have the high pipe. And once that's started, you can get your flat washer and lock nut started back behind the fender. Left side, you have the longer bolt, flat washer to go against this. You got the long spacer because uh, regardless of the exhaust that you have, the left side will always have long spacer. So you get the, get the spacer up in there, get the hardware lined up. Flat washer to the inside of the fender, lock nut. Once you have all the hardware installed left and right, rear and front, then you can check the alignment on everything and then start at the rear, tighten these up first, and then you'll move to the front because these are slotted up here. However, the back ends up lining up once it's tight. The front is gonna be what it is. So you do the back first, then the front. And to finish up, you can return your turn signal stem to its proper location. Make sure your wires are tucked in there. And they're not pulling on the wiring in here, otherwise you can have a malfunctioning turn signal. Hold one nut in, in place. Snug the other one up. And then you can finish up by hooking your battery back up. So I appreciate you watching. If you like these videos, please give us a like, a thumbs up. Um, and if you wanna see more of these kind of videos, hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell icon right next to the subscribe box and it will give you notification every time we upload a new video. I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.